Hey everybody, it's Chris from Steeda, and today we have a 2020 plus GT500 here, and we're gonna be installing the Ford Performance front bumper carbon fiber insert for the 2020 plus GT500. We're gonna do a product review, then a step-by-step -step installation, ultimately show you how good this thing looks on the GT500 once it's complete. Check it out. Here we have the Ford Performance carbon fiber insert for your front bumper on your GT500. This is really exciting because if you're looking to take your car to the next level, get all those carbon fiber appointments, this is the way to go. It's a two by two twill dry carbon fiber finish. This is a genuine carbon fiber direct fit replacement for the front insert on your 2020 plus GT500. It has a high gloss finish, UV resistant. Honestly, it's gonna look really good on the front end of this 2020 GT500. One thing that sets this piece apart from the rest is Ford Performance with the extra mile and made sure that the high gloss finish on top of the dry carbon fiber does have that UV resistant coating. It's very important because in a lot of cases you get these carbon fiber parts, you don't put that UV coating or clear coat finish on them and the UV rays from the sun will eventually bake this thing. But again, you don't have to worry about that. It's direct fit replacement, pops right in on the front bumper cover of your GT500 and you'll be rolling. So without further ado, we'll show you a step-by-step -step installation and get this thing started. These are the tools required for installation. First, you either want to lift the car up on a set of jack and jack stands or car lift. Then remove both the front wheels. Utilize a Torx bit to remove the splitter wickers if you have them installed. And if you don't have the splitter wickers, work your way up along the edge and remove all of the Torx bolts. Next, grab a panel removal tool and remove all of the associated push pins on the front, top, and part of the rear of the fender liner. That way you can remove the fender liner out of the way and get access to remove the bumper cover. Don't forget the Torx bolt holding the wheel liner to the chin spoiler. There is a bracket holding the bumper cover to the fender itself. You remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding that bracket and then you could push the bracket through. Next, you wanna move under the vehicle and remove all of the hardware holding the belly pan to the K-member. There are a lot of bolts here, so just take your time, work your way around and make sure you don't miss anything. There are also a couple of push pins as well. You can see the center push pin in the rear needs a panel removal tool to get it out. And then the push pins in either wheel well holding the belly pan to the fender liners. Remove the Christmas tree. Then work your way across with the Torx bolts holding the belly pan to the splitter. This way you can get access to the two additional bolts holding the bumper cover to the subframe. After that, you'll wanna jump up top and remove all of the hardware holding the bumper cover to the radiator support. Don't forget the two smaller bolts on either side next to the headlight before you remove the bumper cover. Make sure you disconnect the harness to the combination lamp on either side. Next, you're ready to slowly remove the bumper cover. Keep in mind that the belly pan is going to come off along with the cover. Once you have the bumper cover off and set aside, grab a blanket to set the bumper cover on so you have a comfortable area to work. You can remove the six bolts that are holding both the upper and lower grill into place. This is where the fun begins. There are a series of tabs that are holding not only the wire frame of the grill itself into place, but also the plastic surround that's holding that wire frame into place. Each of these tabs is a two-step process. You wanna use one flathead screwdriver to bend up the black plastic tab on top and bend up the white plastic tab. You can do this by taking another flathead screwdriver and putting it in between the bottom of the white tab and the top of the surround. I'll be honest, this is somewhat of a frustrating process. Just take your time, work your way through it. You will make it through. One tab at a time, working your way across does get easier as you get more of the grill removed from the bumper cover. Thankfully for the lower grill, you don't need to remove the entire lower grill, just the top portion. So. On the top corner of either side of the lower grill, there are these locking clips that go around 
the body tabs on the bumper cover. You'll need to get two flathead screwdrivers to remove this locking tab off of both sides. Once you have the two metal locking tabs out of the way on either side, all along the top is where you wanna focus next. It's the same process as the upper grill. You have the black tab from the surround and then the body color tab that needs to be removed. The next part is optional. You should not need to remove the foam insert in between the upper and lower grills, but it did allow us a little bit more access to get everything for the cover out. Next, you slowly work your way across, pop all the tabs out, Do the same for the bottom since you now have access with that lower grill being detached from the top. And you can pull the cover out. This is very important. Ford Performance does not include J-clips with their insert. What that means is you need to transfer the J-clips from your factory insert over to your carbon fiber insert. If you did remove the foam insert, go ahead and put it back into place and screw it in using the plastic screws. Always helps to get them started by hand first. Next, you're ready to put your Ford Performance carbon fiber insert into place. It should pop right in. Again, make sure you have those J-clips installed because you don't want to remove these grills again. Speaking from experience here. Everything should pop right in. And once you have the upper and lower grill completely reinstalled, you can put your six bolts back into place. And after that, Go ahead and reinstall the bumper cover and your installation is complete. Let us know what you think. The installation, honestly, it really isn't terrible. It's just very tedious. So take your time, work your way through each tab, getting those upper and lower grills off of the bumper. And then once you get the carbon fiber insert over, it's all smooth sailing from there. Again, I think this looks absolutely amazing on the GT500. And let's be honest, once you add one carbon fiber piece, you're gonna have to add the rest too. So I'm sure we'll be seeing this GT500 back here at Stita for some more carbon fiber goodies. Leave a comment below, let us know what you think. Hit us up at Stita.com for anything GT500, Mustang, Ford, you name it. Hit the like and subscribe button, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.